Don't buy this puck. It's terrible. All the good stuff's back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fifty dollars U.S. Yeah. It's a really fun game. Watch for this. Watch for this maniac with a knife. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. Is it recording? Yeah. All right. It is. What's up guys, welcome to the best gifts for hockey players 2020 edition. We got a lot of stuff to cover. Last year you guys asked for how about some more affordable things, things we can actually buy because I covered some pretty cool stuff. Like and me, I can't afford much. I, I don't pay them much here guys to be honest. Like, Pennies on the dollar. It's hard to pay your bills with gloves and sticks, but you know, we get by. I'm going to cover all the epic products, the really cool stuff, and then Hayden's going to talk about, you know, just something more affordable, more common. So like really cool and then just like simple, you know, awesome and Kind of like, just, okay, it's like, it's still, what are you trying to say? Let's get to the video. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Jeremy, Jeremy. Uh, yeah, uh, oh, uh, the, sorry, I was in a hockey arena. The first epic gift, virtual reality hockey tray. Oh, geez, no, I, I didn't even realize I was here. It's honestly that good. You think you're inside of arena. It's absolutely crazy. You put this on, it, it requires quite a setup and it is expensive. It's, it's like you're in another world. It's It crazy. transports you into an arena with hockey players passing the puck and it, it's absolutely nuts. You're shooting on goalies. It's obviously not the exact same. They do have a lot of things that are close. It's good for like reaction. Exactly, yeah. reading, reacting, making quick decisions. They've done all kinds of research. I won't get into too much detail, but VR hockey training from Sense Arena. It's expensive, but it is the most epic thing for a hockey player. So check out their website in the video description. And the more affordable option is NHL for Xbox, the most recent version. That's NHL 19, Hayden. No, it's NHL 20, see? Well, <laughs> First of all, that's just a piece of paper you put there. And also the most recent version is NHL 21. You have to make sure they buy the most recent one. Nobody wants NHL 19. <laughs> I actually did a YouTube video, does playing video games help with your performance on the ice? And there was quite a few people in the comments section that said, yeah. It, like they've learned something, there was a move they didn't know about, or just like learning the basic positioning, where to be and where not to be. Because if you're in the wrong spot in the game, you get exposed. Unless oh, you're on hockey mode. coaches in the comments, just light them up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next gift. The next epic gift is the Super D... Hayden, where's the Super Deaker? Was I supposed to get the Super Yeah, yeah Hayden, get the Super... Oh. Here it is. Ha, oh, that time. This is the Super Deaker, always a popular gift here. And it actually has like these bungee cords on this side, and it, it folds out. You can see it's like, actually gets twice the size. Like, Ugh, but we got some B-roll. It's basically like a video game and all these these lights light up as you're stick handling. You have to stick handle over them. It's a really fun game. Always sells out pretty quickly. So order early. The Super Deaker. Fun game. Working on your hands. And the more affordable option is the Ed Dangler from Hockey Shop. I only had to save up for three months to buy this. $50 US. Nicely done, Ed. <laughs> Let's open it. I don't feel safe in my work environment. I once cut my hand. I got a scar here and I fainted. Better not be at work. We don't have WSID. <laughs> oh. hey. Training aid fight. I've got a fever. The only cure is more cowbell. More cowbell. Mr. Ah. Just jam it right in there. It's like rubber. Here, you, you do two and I'll do two. This would fit into there. Right. And then you can create. Basically what you do is you can use this to create all kinds of different situations. Basically your imagination is the limit it's like to a work on your hands. It's like to a work whistle. on your hands. Yeah, I'm gonna cover it with some slack and put it on my wall like my grandma used to do. <laughs> Just like a puzzle, except it'll, very different. Just like a puzzle, except very different. <laughs> except, not, except not even close, really. It comes with five bases and four legs and basically just connect it in any shape you want to work on your hands, which is kind of cool. The next epic gift is the Sparks Skate Schnarp Schnarpener. Schnarpener! <laughs> this is the new model, so it's uh, smaller, much lighter. It even comes with a backpack. You can literally put this thing in a backpack and bring it to the rink. So what's new? Still sharpens your skates amazingly, but it's got this little, ooh, yeah, look at that. Folds open, you can see the wheel. I, I mean, this just feels like futuristic. <laughs> I've been using the original Spark Skate Sharpener since it came out and never had an issue. Always a great sharpening. So this one's gonna do the exact same sharpening job. It's just lighter, uh, more portable, a little bit slimmer, and then they have some thoughtful upgrades to it as well. So definitely recommend the Spark Sharpener. Very convenient to sharpen your skates at home, especially in the pandemic. Like, 
Yeah, true. You can find a shop that's open and all that stuff and pass your skates. It's out. Yeah, it's safe. It's socially responsible to get a spark skate <laughs> sharpener. It's just a random cardboard. <laughs> and Hayden, the more affordable option to the sparks. Do it yourself. <laughs> just a, a regular old stone, which doesn't actually sharpen your skates. It just it takes the burrs well, off. Well, if you do it for long enough, it does. <laughs> it's like your Abraham Lincoln over here. <laughs> Spend four hours. Uh, that's actually, where's the other? Skate blades actually have a hollow, so the stone basically just rubs the outside. It doesn't sharpen the inside. There is a product, though, that does that, which is called the, the Blade Barber, which I guess is kind of like an epic stone. So can I just go like this? <laughs> you, you can, sure. Try it before pickup, see what happens. So the Blade Barber has a radius stone inside that you actually pull across your blade and it does sharpen your skates. However, you're peeling steel off of your blade. So if you, you can mess your skates up if right. you're not doing this properly. I haven't actually tried it yet, but it is an option. Uh, this is kind of my go-to. What's that? The, the magic stick. I got the magic stick. Oh, I've seen it. Yeah, it com comes with the stone. Yeah. Right? And it's basically two carbides, I think is the right term for that. And you just pull them down your skate like that. And it kind you of- You have to use those, you know, don't mess them no, up. No, no, this actually works so good. Okay. If you're in an emergency and like, oh, I lost an edge, you pull this over a couple of times, you will feel it's sharper. I think it if you work. use it too much, it, yes. it's not good. If you overdo it, you'll bring your skates into the skate guy and he'll be like, what did you do to these things? These are actually pretty sharp. Let's check this one. <laughs> it's bleeding. Let's go, Hayden. I get this video done. People are asking for it, you know? All right, let's go. What's next? Uh, I think it's a good time for a shameless plug. Merch. Every hockey player loves hockey merch, and uh, we got some pretty good stuff. Hayden, I love your hat. Can you Thank tell me you. more about that? It's so soft, and it keeps my crazy hair intact. Look at the coral fleece inside. This is the pond toque. Nice and sweaty. It is sweaty. If you overheat like me, you can just have the, uh, the slouchy. Black beanie. That's your everyday beanie, nice and cool. You don't wear it to Good the Good for rig. the kids. We got masks. Mask. We got masks. So this yeah. one is the most popular. People are loving it. The hockey player face. I the, wear uh, this one everywhere I go. The missing tooth and the beard. So the, the mask, definitely an option. I get complimented on this everywhere I go. They think it's my face though, not Austin Matthews. And we got jerseys. <laughs> so the old paint cans jersey. The how-to hockey jersey in white and red. If you want to rock that on the pond or at pickup. Definitely. It's sharp. Looks good. Mode hockey sweater. Mason loves rocking this one. It's nice. Can't forget the t-shirts. I mean, puck drop? That's a sharp looking shirt. You have to agree. Oh, can't forget the how-to hockey hat. Oh yeah, if you want any of this merch, go to howtohockey.com slash merch. There we go. Shameless plug over. Next. I spray those too. <laughs> Take a... Ooh. Which one smells worse, do you think? Why am I having to... Everyone loves their own brand. The Mars Blades, these are absolutely amazing. And if you want to go more affordable, you can get just the chassis. And you know, if you have a, an old pair of skates, maybe the Langs is a better. Uh... <laughs> so this is the boot and the chassis. Basically what's cool about these is they have this rocker motion that makes your off ice skating feel more like when you're on the ice. Yeah, it, it, it's exactly like those roller guides, except completely different. Very well engineered. A lot of people love it. A lot of NHL players are using this. Austin Matthews just invested in the company. So you can get the boot and the chassis or just this piece and then add it to an old pair of skates. So you basically just take the holder off a pair of skates and then put this on the bottom. So great option. The Mars Blade, really love them and I've been using them since basically the company started. Christmas is coming? Christmas. Oh, I hate wants a pair. All right, <laughs> get on your computer. <laughs> what are you doing in the video? You get to work. <laughs> And for the more affordable option, Hayden? The roller guards. <laughs> Again, only three months. They have their own rocker system. That's three months of your salary right there to save up for that one. Uh, just put your skate in it. They, they are 60 bucks. They're, they're not cheap, but they're fun, especially in the pandemic. Uh, there is no rocker motion. They have four wheels, so it's more like a roller skate. I, I found it hard to skate in them, though. <laughs> it's a fun product. Mason has these on his skates. He's five years old. We're home dressers now because of the whole pandemic. So he really likes actually. Wheel him to the car, wheel him to the parking Exactly, yeah. and, and I get all of his gear on ahead of time, so it saves less time at the rink. Right. He'll put them on and just like rip around the kitchen a few times. So it's, you know, get a few extra minutes of warm up in for the kids. Uh, fun product, the roller guide. Next epic gift. The, oh, hey Hayden. Yeah, we're sh shooting a video here, bud. The Pacific Rink 
hockey bag. Don't you love this bag? Actually, you've been using it for a couple years, haven't you? Yeah, it's the best bag I've had, yeah. Exactly. So basically, amazing organization. Bags made for hockey players. You got a spot, a pocket to put your skates. You've got a pocket for everything. For all your smelly stuff. It is the best designed hockey bag out there. And then we've got uh, the pond pack as well, which you also have used. I have used that as well, yes. I love this one for coaching personally. I got my an extra pair of skates here, so I never forget them when I'm coaching. I got my helmet inside and my gloves and my skate suit, so it's got like you know, everything for coaching all fits in there. And it's got a little pocket at the back where you can put you know uh, coaching material, uh, whiteboard or whatever, a coaching board. <laughs> Great bag though. And they also have uh, the Weekender, which uh, is, is well, let's open it up. They make bags for hockey players, but you can, uh, you know, for the professionals out there that own suits, la di da. <laughs> you can uh, fold it. The hoity toity. Oh, here it is. Yeah, the hook, right? This is my suit here. No, no. Like, <laughs> come on, you don't want wrinkles, dude. I think I'm doing it right. I don't know. Why not? Boom. Boom. Wrinkle free. Your suit is packed away. Ready to go. It has a lot of other features. Check it out on their website. Pacific Rink. Lots of great bags for hockey players. Do we do an affordable option or no? not really? Like no one wants just a regular do hockey you, bag. Do you want to just walk in with a backpack? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's there's no afford. Just just go epic on that one. If you're gonna get a, a bag for Christmas, get a Pacific Rink bag. I hope we pushed record. Yes, it was. I did something good. Yay! I say we do just like a whole category on shooting, because there's just so many like cool yeah, like pucks. And yeah. Like Number one, you want it. Like hockey player, any hockey player you can get them. More pucks. More pucks. Lots of pucks. You can find them for a buck a piece if you if you're lucky. Got a Canadian tire or something. Or a hockey shot has these. You can buy them on the website. Like a box of them for those in the states where it's not as easy to find pucks. And you're like walking up to the counter. Like this, like, I can't carry enough pucks. To <laughs> the Anyways, lots of pucks. Any hockey player, because basically what happens is like you start with twenty. Yeah. And then you shoot every day. Within a week, you All got them. three left, and you're like, you shoot them, get them, shoot them, get them. So get lots of pucks. Uh, targets. We got yes. some good ones. Uh, top shelf targets. Yeah, top shelf targets. Yeah. Magnetic. You stick them in the post. They're fun. If them? you want continual shooting, though, oh, oh yes. Do we have Do magnets? We? There's a target on a target. <laughs> <laughs> magnet to the post. Snipe. Boom. Very satisfying. If your accuracy isn't that great, it's it's probably better because you, you don't have to walk back and forth as much. Yeah. Me and him, I mean, we just knock it over every time. I mean, you, I don't. Okay, okay. If you want continual shooting and a little bit of a bigger space to aim for? These ones are nice. They're from Hockey Shot. So it's bungee cord, yeah. boom, boom. You can move these to where you want it. You right. adjust and you put it like top shelf or uh, bottom shelf. Yeah, they, and they have a nice smack to them as well when you hit them. It is satisfying to get that like. Yeah. This one is from Boomer Hockey. If you want that, that. Dude, we're getting the band back together. You get two targets. They're made in Ontario, so Canadian made. It's um, a kid actually that started this company with his dad. So pretty cool. Check them out, Boomer Hockey. Uh, another good shooting option. Heavy, heavy duty steel. Yeah, those will last a while. If you do want to go epic in the shooting, I would say a radar gun. The first time I got a Raider gun, like instant motivation. Yeah, it's nice to get that feedback. It basically turned my shooting into a video game because like you have a number, that's my high score. I'm like, oh, what Can if I, I do this? this? Yeah. And you keep changing your, your uh, technique and you know trying to put more power into it. So it's a really good motivating uh, product. They are like not perfectly accurate. Sometimes it's a little off or like- Or if there's vibration, like if you put it in too close to a post, yeah. you gotta be careful. There are some inconsistencies, but definitely worth it. Like over time, you'll learn how to work with that radar gun and improve your speed. I feel like kids would really like it too, Yeah, because oh. they can see is like Mason probably, it's like, oh, 15, oh, exactly. 30. Yeah. Uh, Mason doesn't care, he just wants to play Lego. But for the, for the older kids, yeah, definitely. Yeah. The radar guns are nice, really nice option. That's from Hockey Shop. What you, what you got there, Hayden? These are my targets. <laughs> The, I just gotta get some scissors. Hold on, yeah. Got the, uh, the affordable targets right there. Look at that. They're trying to make a circle. Okay. Not really. <laughs> you get your crayons and draw some. <laughs> yeah. You can put anything in your net to make a target if you want to go affordable. Ow. But you don't want to give someone a couple ripped up pieces of cardboard for Christmas. <laughs> Speaking of shooting, uh, if you want to go epic, oh right there, God. the uh, another shameless plug. But the battle mode. These are low flex sticks for kids. So this is a, a 20 flex. 
We also have a 30 flex, 40 flex, 50 flex. There's one uh, Mason uses with the Batman tape. Oh yeah, classic. We make pro quality sticks for kids, mode hockey, check them out. And uh, we have a lot of great feedback on these sticks. And it just allows kids to feel that flex that a pro will get. Cause you know, instead of using an adult stick, just cutting it down really low, it's super stiff. I don't know why they didn't have these when I was a kid. Exactly. If you wanna grab some, head over to modehockey.com. Okay, books. Got a couple of books over here. Uh, this one is Everyday Hockey Heroes. These are great stories about people who uh, just are, I don't know. <clears throat> it's just stories about people who have done something really unique or inspirational in hockey. And uh, actually check out page 83, I'm on it. So I, I did get- plug. <laughs> Another shameless plug, uh, or 73 I should say. So I got featured in that book, pretty cool. But there's a lot of other great stories in there as well. If you wanna learn about my childhood, uh, pick her up. And then this one uh, for the coaches, Belfry Hockey. Daryl Belfry is uh, one of the greatest thinkers, in my opinion, in hockey. And he has put everything he knows basically in this book. And uh, I've been reading through it, picking out bits and pieces, haven't gotten through the whole thing, but there's a lot of great info in here on basically how to train. And uh, yeah, he's worked with some of the best the athletes. mindset that you should have. Yeah. It, it's a lot. It's more than just like drills and X's and O's. It's more, yeah, like the mindset and how to work with elite athletes and you know challenge people. Right. So uh, he's worked with pretty much every, are a lot of the top pros in the game and uh, Patrick Kane ran the cover. So definitely recommend that book. Somewhat off topic, but this this coffee mug, I actually love. It's it's steel and it has a lid on top. And this oh. is from Fellow Products. It yeah. looks like a Bluetooth speaker. Is it? <laughs> it is not a Bluetooth coffee cup, but like I, I can put my cup in my pocket and bring it around. So you know when I have my hands full and it keeps my stuff warm all day. It's, I don't know why, but I just, I really like this one and it's from uh, Fellow Products. So I'll put the link in the video. I'm the description. I'll put the link in the video description. Mm. Good stuff. Let's talk about this stuff back here. What? Oh, that's, that's a good gag gift, you know, if you want to like really play a joke on someone, maybe <laughs> just grab the Brad Marchand, you know, framed autograph. Like no one wants that. Just, Joke gift, you know. <laughs> Speaking about epic gifts, uh, Hockey Shop just came out with these training kits. So instead of you know trying to find all these little pieces, they got everything, and they've collaborated with some NHL players. So we got Barkov and Sagan. So we got the shooting kit and the dangling kit, the skills training system. Pretty cool. Each one has their different, unique. Hey, hey where you go? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day we'll get our faces on these boxes, eh? <laughs> Yeah, that's what hockey shot goes bankrupt. Yeah. <laughs> this one comes with the targets, reactive sniper, it's got a shooting pads and pucks. This one is more based on stick handling. It's got the pass rebounders and the reactive sniper as well, but in for the So these are great options looking to them from hockey shot. We also have the uh, the balance board here. Let's cut it open. God, easy with the exact knife. It's got that thing from Toronto. Watch your fingers, watch your fingers. Maniac with a knife. This is a, uh, a really nice box. Yeah, the artwork. Ooh. Feel it. It's like a skateboard. Yeah, it's got the, the grip. So this is a balance board. Want me to try it? I'll check it out. Yeah. Oh, good night. <laughs> <laughs> you guys could imagine uh, this is a great addition to any training setup. So you can work on your balance while you're also working on your stick handling or even your shooting. So a uh, great option from Hockey Shot and it is a collab with Tyler Sagan. It has the same artwork that Sagan actually has as tattoos. So kind of a cool integration. Should probably talk about some more affordable options when it comes to stick handling. Uh, I would say this is not the most affordable puck in the sense, but it is a really cool puck. It is called the Dangle Puck 2.0. It's got a ball bearing on both sides. And this puck matches the movement of a puck on the ice. It slides pretty much like it's on ice. Here, here we go. Like, so, whoa, almost lost it there, right? <laughs> no, no other puck can do that, can have that movement, but it will only work well on smooth surfaces, so like training tiles or a shooting pad. But it's a great puck to have. It, like if you're working those toe drags or- Quick like, moves, is, it, you can't really do it with a normal puck, no. even if you have good tiles. Yeah, it's like the most challenging puck, I would say. And, yeah. You work on that toe drag off the ice, you get on the ice, it's gonna move very similar. Like it it kind of gets away from you, you know? Uh, some other options, we got the green biscuit. This is like a different version of... Yeah, it's it's, it's like the, the roller one. Yeah. But always a great option. Green biscuit yeah. works great on rough surfaces. Mm -hmm. So like cement, I would go, you know, one, one of each. If you're one for smooth, one for... Exactly, yeah. stocking stuff right there. Green biscuit and a dangle puck. Depending on the setup you have. If all you have is a road, you kind of sure, have to go, sure, like sure. when I was younger, I didn't have like tiles or anything. So I just would skate rollerblade down the road. If you save up for 12 years, you can afford some uh, <laughs> training tiles. Yeah. Speaking of off-ice pucks, we did a video where we tested every single off-ice puck and we chose a winner. It was pretty interesting. Very interesting. Check it out on our channel. Hey Jeremy, does this puck like light up or anything? 
No, Hayden, that's a 99 cent puck. It doesn't light up. Like, this puck lights up though. This is the Comet puck. Oh. So if you have someone on your Christmas list that likes to play hockey outdoors, say the pond or the lake, and it gets dark at like 5.30. On the backyard rink. The backyard rink. We got a video on how to build one. If that's another epic gift, actually. That one's yeah. coming next. <laughs> uh, comes with a battery. You put this in and it will glow, basically, so you can continue playing long after the sun goes down. Talking about two epic options. Number one, a backyard rink. Mm -hmm. So I just did a video on how you can build your own with just stuff from the Home Depot. There's also kits that you can do, uh, the Easy Ice. Oh I'm yeah, playing. that one's, you showed me that one. I haven't actually used it Oh, before. we set it up in the summertime, the soap hockey video. Oh yeah, well we set it up, but I never actually skated on right. it. Right, yeah. super simple, the Easy Ice. It's probably the fastest rink to set up for yeah. an ODR. Uh, then we have Nice Rink, which is a great kit option as well, nicerink.com, easyice.com. I got a uh, coupon code in the video description for the Easy Ice. Nice. Or you can build your own if you got a few hundred bucks, go to the Home Depot. Because of the pandemic, you got extra time. Mm -hmm. Build a backyard rink, great option. Hard to build a backyard rink if it's hot out. You know, Florida, California, we're looking at you guys. Yeah, you kind of need cold weather. So for them, uh, an epic setup from Hockey Shot. We're talking oh, tiles okay. that you can skate on. Uh, you could put it in the middle of the lake where it's floating. Just kidding. <laughs> We did do that as a video, but uh, it's not a feasible It's not option. a necessity. No. But you can get a few tiles from Hockey Shot just for working your stick handling shooting. You can do a whole room, you can do a garage, you can do your basement, uh, you know, a nice setup like that. So a bunch of tiles, and they do have ones you can skate on as well. If you want to do something epic, a home training setup is definitely going to wow the person on your Christmas list. Obviously, I work with Hockey Shot a lot, so I recommend them. But you guys can shop around, look for other things, but they definitely, I think, they have the most variety of products out yeah. there. Sauce kits, great option here. There's a few that you can shop from. So we got the original Hockey Sauce Kit. Nice and used, nice and dirty. It, it, you it. want to make sure you get them like that, not brand new. This shows its durability, okay? <laughs> I've been using this for years, still good. Uh, coach can use this to bring pucks to the rink, which how they're originally designed. Got a little shoulder strap right there, as mm -hmm. uh, Vanna White will demonstrate. Just go like this with your hand. That's what we're looking for, really. Never seen Vanna White do this in no. Middle Fortune? Oh, okay. We have the original hockey sauce kit, lots of accessories available. Um, you, you can stop doing that now. Hey, that, that's good stuff. Uh, and then we have the hockey shot version as well. So this is nice. This uh, actually comes off. It, Lifts off, there we go, I got it. You can take the bottom off as oh, well, yeah. so you can use it as a, a pond hockey net. Nice, nice little option there. Uh, it's got the carrying strap as well, and this little pouch in the back, so you can carry your bits and pieces, or your bits and bites if you want to have a snack. Or pucks. Pucks too, yeah, it's a good option here. Hey, what do you say we ramp this video up a little? You know why you can't breed an eel with an eagle? No. Because that would be illegal. You're such a dad. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, next, let's talk about these laces. Uh, these are unbreakable skate laces. It's a Kickstarter. That's why it comes in uh, the plastic bag. But I imagine they'll have some actual packaging. So unbreakable skate lace. Uh, Hayden, I got you a set. And I'm sure you guys want to know if they are unbreakable. Hayden, can I see your set? Thank you. Why am I? <laughs> well, just in case. Exacto knife. Well, let's... Yep. Yep. I mean, imagining this is, we should actually I felt hit it. unsafe before. <laughs> well, I, whoa. I was expecting it to cut it a little bit, but no, it's, it's legit not cutting it. Okay, well, that's gotta cut it. We need some regular skate laces and see if they'll cut. This is not cutting. It sounds like it's cutting it. No, look at that. That's actually pretty impressive. I mean, I was really hacking at that. It's just like a little nick. So uh, there's your lace back. Thank you very much. We, actually, we should try a regular skate lace. Grab me mine. Yeah. Hayden, I think your mom's calling. That's not my ringer. Oh, it's my phone and it was your mom. Oh, uh, got him! <laughs> Same test, regular skate lace. Yeah, it doesn't, oh. Oh, it, pretty much try. instantly, first try. Okay, so that, yeah, it's very unbreakable, I'd say. Let's do it again. Same test, regular skate blade, and oh, yeah, pretty, it's. Oh, yeah, first oh, try. Wow, that's, that's pretty impressive. Check them out, they have a Kickstarter, it's called Iron Lace, and we'll have to test these out on the ice. Next product. The skaboots. Are we talking about the skaboots? We'll talk about the skaboots. What the heck are these? The skaboots. I think that was unnecessary. It absolutely wasn't. These are skate guards uh, that look like boots. So you put your skate in that little spot right there. And if only I had a skate nearby. <laughs> I can just imagine you walking into the rink with that. Oh, like I, I would drive to the rink with that. Like, <laughs> oh, no way. Right? Put the, That's put gotta the be safe. Seat all the way back. <laughs> 
I drive manual, so. Hard to get the clutch with that. Yeah. Anyways, a skaboots. It's the uh, the boot skate guard. Looks nice. Good way to display your skates, huh? It's you get to the crazy. rink and then you realize you forgot your, your stick in the car. Yeah, you get in the car and realize you forgot to put boots on. But you always you always have your skates handy, right? Yeah. Probably good for your outdoor rinks. That's probably the primary. Put your use, skates yeah. on in the house. Put these on. Walk all the way to the ring. You know what? We could probably use these this winter for yes. the backyard rink. Yeah. Skaboots turns your skates into boots. Do Canadians say boots funny? Is that boots? It's a boot time. It's a boot. <laughs> we do not say a boot. We say about. We're just pronouncing the U in the word about. It's not a boot. About. I don't even know how how do Americans say about. About. About Tom. <laughs> Sounds more Canadian. <laughs> About. I think it's more of like a different about. In the states, they say instead of lobby, it's the. No, the foyer. They the say foy foyer. The foyer. Foyer. What the heck oh, is the that? Foyer. Yeah. So unFrench. Oh, we should talk about the sign. The sweet how to hockey sign in the oh, background. Yeah. Uh, custom made by Reclaim Sticks. Okay, we'll close up. These signs are custom made. You get your favorite NHL team. You get your minor hockey team logo. You could send him anything, and he can do it. Just absolutely amazing. Look at this artwork. The attention to detail. Love this absolutely from Reclaim Stick and check him out on Instagram to see some more stuff he's made. So last year I know I got you oh. some hands because you really needed them. That's true, yep. This year I decided to step it up. Ooh. So this is for you. Christmas gift? Yeah. In the video? Yeah. Let me uh, get my knife out. God, enough with that. Babe. You guys are going to see what it is first. I'm not even going to lock. Here we go. Looks cool. Something I can put in the wall. Ooh, I can see. Toronto Maple Leafs. Nice. Look at the... That's actually really cool. Yeah. Is that like the gold splatter on there? I don't mind a little silver on there. You know, Stanley Cup, know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> That's the one I knew you wanted. You have to put it over there. Frisbee? <laughs> don't play catch? <laughs> what is this? This ain't going on the wall, that's for sure. Oh, a doormat. Thank you, oh. Hayden. Yeah, we can just rub our boots on this right when we walk in. That's great. Very thoughtful. What else? Some more stuff in here. What? This is making me throw up. Man cave? Ooh. <laughs> but, oh my goodness. Oh my god. This stuff is actually pretty cool. Um, if you know anyone who's a little slow and likes the Boston Brewers, obviously you can get any team like the Leafs. You know, you can get good teams like the Leafs or you can get, you know, the other teams. It's all from the Hockey Hall of Fame shop, right? In yep. Including uh, this little custom puck right there. Check out. Got one from Mason too. It's kind of a cool package. You get like a custom puck, a hockey card, or just like a hockey pitcher, cut it out, make something like that, put it underneath the tree. I think a lot of kids will like that. That's a great option for hockey fans. Anything merch, like yeah. uh, favorite jersey. You know, Toronto Maple Leafs jersey, of course, is the way to go. Yeah. Pull your chair nice forward. <laughs> Listen and this love in the dark. <laughs> I think we pretty much covered everything. There's that's a lot. Yeah. I mean, obviously, there's more. We can go into more detail and all this stuff. So if you want to see even more, we'll put a link in the video description. It goes to an article on our website. We'll have links to all this stuff. We got pictures. Hayden's gonna build it. He doesn't know yet, but that's oh. what you're, yeah, you got something to work on all weekend, buddy. Oh, thank you. Yeah, just working until like 11 p.m. each night, and we'll have that up for you. And uh, it will be ready by the time the video drops, right? Okay. You want to get that <laughs> Christmas bonus? Oh, Christmas bonus. Smelly skate guards. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got some new ones, so yeah, I couldn't find the other one. Sorry, bud. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you guys see some products that uh, you want, but they weren't in this video, let us know in the uh, video description. No, that's wrong. Let us know in the comments section. That way we can add them maybe to the next year's video or the people watching can scroll down there and uh, check it out. Maybe we'll pin your comment. Great idea, Hayden. Your Christmas bonus just increased. Congrats. Thanks. Thanks all for watching the video. We'll see you guys in the next one. I need this back.